Hi, this is the third and last part concerning this barometric altitude red computer. I have connected this thing to an AC power supply. I have added in the schematics the number of terminals. So I have connected 115 volts AC between pins 3 and 12. I have connected also an air pressure generator to the static port. This is this manual pump. It is configured to negative pressure. That is to say, this permits to have a pressure below the ambient pressure. So let's turn on the power supply. As you can see, the LED is not illuminated. So there should be something wrong on this instrument. So let's start to check the clock, for example. This signal here. And this one also. So let's start with the signal at pin 12 and 13. And this is uh, this one here. It's a 74C00. So I, I will connect the ground here. There is a test point here. Can connect also to the capacitor. So pin 12, for example. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. As you can see, the signal is not what is expected. Normally, as we have a transistor which works in a saturation mode, we should have zero here. So let's see the output. So this was the signal at the input of this NAND gate. Let's see pin 11. Okay, as you can see, there is also a problem. The low level is at 3 volts, high level at 5. So we can suspect the defective part here. So probably this 74C00 is defective. So I don't have the C00, but I have on my stock 74HC00. So I will replace this part, the first, and we will see. And we can check also uh, the voltage on the base. Because of the inversion of this diode, we should have a negative voltage, which, which will be clamped at minus 6, 7, or something like that, volts, because of the zener effect of the base emitter junction. Uh, so this is a 10K. It should be this resistor here. And so this is the voltage on the secondary side of the transformer, which is 40 volt peak peak. On the other side, okay, so we can see effectively that the voltage is strongly negative. So it is clamped by the base emitter junction to minus 8 volts approximately. So what I will do is that I will change the 74C00 and I will change also the orientation of this diode. Ok, so I have resoldered this diode in the correct direction, the cathode on the left here. And I have changed also this part which was defective. Ok, I have changed by a 74HC00. I will reinstall the dissipator. So we can check the base voltage, the first, of this transistor here. OK, it is better. We can see that effectively there is a clamping to minus 0.7 volt approximately. So we can check also the clock signal at the output, pin 11. OK, it is better. The signal is clean. So this part was effectively defective. We can check if we find the pulses on pin 1 or 10. The pin 1 is more accessible. OK. We can check if the LED is active or not. So the LED is still off.
there is a voltage of 10 volts at this point here so it seems that effectively we have uh, something which should work normally with 10 volts here the MOSFET should be on so normally the LED should illuminate ah yes it is but it is a very I didn't see it is uh, not very bright should be in front of the LED from a given angle you can see with the camera on that angle you cannot see anything this thing uh, seems okay Okay, so this is a test setup. I have connected this barometric altitude computer to this vertical speed indicator. This instrument is configured to a ring 575 input. The voltage range is plus or minus 3 volts for a vertical speed of plus or minus 6000 feet per minute. So I think it is compatible with this instrument because this instrument is designed for a range of plus or minus 20,000 feet per minute but for a maximum voltage of 10 or 12 volts so for a voltage of plus or minus 3 volts the range should be close to plus or minus 6,000 feet per minute so you have connected directly the output of this instrument to the input of this indicator I have also connected the together these two outputs, if I connect the indicator to this input, there is a small offset of 0.5 volts. And according to the data sheet, in order to have the division function, normally this pin should be connected to the output here. So I don't know the purpose of these two diodes back to back here. So I have connected these two outputs together and this signal is fed to the indicator. I have also connected the valid signal here, pin 15, to the validation input of this indicator. So there is something wrong, the flag will appear. So I have connected also this manometer. So this is the ambient pressure, 1013 millibars or something like that. At the maximum, this is a complete vacuum. So a climb will be simulated by decreasing the pressure. So when the needle moves counterclockwise, this simulates a climb of the aircraft. So let's start the test. So in order to have a constant speed, I have to decrease the pressure. It is very difficult. And you can see that the leakage actually provides a constant descent, more or less. As you can see, this thing works. This was a complete teardown, reverse engineering and test about this device. It is difficult to test the accuracy. For that purpose, we need a system which permits to change the pressure dynamically with a given rate. And the rate should be different according to the altitude. So this is very complicated. Thanks for watching and see you next time for another instrument. Bye bye.